Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Hope you are all well and safe and having a great day. I've been painting in Realistic Paint Studio because I wanted to get to grips with the um, mixing palette with the oil paints. Now, um, I, for me, it didn't seem uh, intuitive straight away. It took me a few minutes to get to grips with it. But once I got, uh, got my head round it, I was away. So let's just get into the video and I'll show you how much I enjoyed working with the mixing palette. Well, today I'm in Realistic Paint Studio. I'm gonna create a new file. And I wanna do an oil painting today. Uh, I'm on the iPad, obviously. Um, let's create a, um, uh, I'll do a custom, just if I do a custom, I can show you how you can put in, um, different sizes. I actually want, I'm going to put 3000 for the, uh, width and 4,000, um, 4,250 for the height. Uh, I don't like that background. Let's change the background. That's better. It's a bit more neutral, neutral. And I don't like the canvas either. I want a more white looking canvas. Maybe that one, that looks okay. So that's my custom uh, canvas all set up. And uh, I think we'll rename it Magnificent. That's a bit um, presumptuous. I'm going to call it coffee shop. Now, you may have seen a 15 minute paint challenge where I sketch this out, uh, th this photo, and I'm going to use the sketch that I did as, uh, for the basis of the painting. I like the composition. And um, let's just go straight into the painting. There we go. And I'm going to use the color, I'm going to change the color palette. Um, if I can remember how to do it, do I do it here? Here we go. I select the color palette and then by toggling down. Do I do it here? Here we are. I go to the mixer. We've got some colors that I can mix up myself. And I quite like the idea of sort of, um, Mix my own colours, so I've got yellow there, and that with purple. I choose the picker, pick this. Um, I pick the burnt sienna colour. Will that work with that? I don't think it does, does it? Why doesn't this work? I'd have thought if I'd have selected that picker. Any color I pick on here would change this. What am I doing wrong? I mean, alternatively, I could do it like this. Yeah, that's like that. That's kind of not what I want to do. I thought I could pick the colors off here. And sort of push it along like that, but that's not what I want. Well, I am going to use this, this color um, mixer. I wonder if I can reset it here, yeah. Okay, so I can choose a color off here. Mix it up there. And then can I pick? Nope. I just wondered if I was to touch it with a finger or something. 
Now, that to me just what if you pick a colour off ah hang on a minute Be blue. I choose a color. Okay. Oh, I see. I've got it. So that color picker is for adding colors to my canvas, selecting them off here. Got it. So if I choose this color picker, hold that down. Right, now I can mix colors with this one. Is that off? Got it. Clear layer, I guess I hit that and clear layer. Right, I'm ready to go. Um, I found that a little bit confusing. So I'm going to clear this again and I think I'm going to start actually um, even though this is a um, oil canvas I'm just wondering if I can use charcoals we got charcoals I had to put in a got this like a graphite pencil I wonder if I can draw on this just to sort of um I can that's cool I want to be black though I've got different pencils let's just find out which one I want I want to do do nicely okay so very quickly just gonna almost repeat that sketch I did in my original um, sketch. And the reason I chose to do this was I just really like this guy sat here. Just love the uh, totally chilled out, totally relaxed man. Doesn't get more relaxed than this. I'm hoping I'm going to do a, a, a reasonable job. Of uh, taking this rough. sketch into a decent painting I'm glad I got that um, issue sorted out with the colour picker because uh, I was struggling that with that on the demo I did before. So this is the first time I've done an oil painting on uh, using realistic paint on the iPad. Uh, all of the others were um, were done. All of the others I've only done one other. The other one I did was on on the PC version, but I bought the this version in the sales. So, um, looking forward to using using the oars on the iPad. Now, I can be a little bit more uh, detailed, I think. 
You know what? I've made them way too big, haven't I? Uh, no, I haven't. I've made the windows too. Make this a bit. Like that. Like that. Um, I'll put this guy here a little bit further along. I, I, I changed his composition where he was standing, moved in slightly more. I'm, I'm not going to mess about too much with the drawing. I'll, I'll sort that out with the painting, I think. Right, it will be about there. Sunday that I've got this eraser down here and just about that. Oh then I've got to go back to the pencils. Um but you know what I'm just gonna add that pencil there as well. There we go. How much do you need, need to do really? Now, in the original sketch, I didn't want to mess this up a bit. This is a little uh, coffee shop in Loughborough. Really nice, quaint little place. I think it's the nearest what Loughborough has got to the lanes in Brighton. <laughs> uh, I'm quite excited about doing this, to be honest. Uh, or I'm wondering if the paint is going to um, smudge. With the, the with this uh, pencil, quite excited to see what happens with that. Just got one minute. I like the composition I've got of the windows in my sketch, so I'm going to keep that same, changing up the actual real. Simplifying things a little bit. So the canopy can up there like that. And I've got this all sort of fuzzy, a little bit of building there. These buildings here. Right, so. And I, I'm going to work on one layer because I want to. Desperate to see how these. Um, I like how this this path. I missed this on the original sketch as well because I was doing a fifteen minute paint challenge, and I like the way it curves. Right, that's my sketch done. Let's go to the oil brushes then. Oh, no, it's not that one. All right, there we go. Can't remember what any of these do. 
This looks interesting because it's a big brush. Right, the sky, so I'll go bluey colour. Oh. Not the best not the best brush for um mixing colours. Clearly that these are at different resolutions. I've got this tiny little brush here, look. Bit of lag on this, I have to say. Mind you, I've got it maxed out. So let's change the brush. Try this one. Probably better. So I can put some blue. Um, white. The other. Kind of a grey. And then I should be able to pick them up. Oops. I need to that select some more. That brush is too small, isn't it, for this canvas? Back to that one. I pick. It should be if I zoom in. We should have like the grey and the blue. We can you can see that it has its pick like both the colours up paint this on and it's a very thin wash as well that's cool i wondered if i should put an oil brush down here so i can select it quick for, for mixing colors Seems to have gone greyer. I wonder if the colour wears off your brush. You know, you use it up. Um, I'm just going to change that brush. Let's try this one. I'm just trying different brushes for uh, laying colour down on here. Sat a bit. Rather pick it. That's, you know, that's a nice brush. Now it's got the blue and the white. A bit thicker paint. I like this brush.
getting the hang of it now. Now it's beginning to feel uh, really organic. You put light pressure on and you can feather. I think I need to just sort of strengthen up the blue a little bit. Bit warmer blue as well, you see. There we go. It's cool because if you never, if you've been using digital, you've probably never mixed paint. If you've only ever used digital, you've never mixed paint before. So this is a a, a good way. A good way of doing it uh, a good way of getting into color mixing without having to get real paint out it did take me a little a little while though just to a little while to just sort of um Look at exactly how it worked. More horizontal strokes, I think. Oh, that's a shame. If the kind of brush doesn't. Well, if you tilt your brush, that's okay. Then you get nice horizontal strokes. Blends nice. Right, I am going to uh, do the all of this painting with um, I'll stick a couple of brushes down here. I want that one, and I want that one. There we go. I'm just wondering if I can sort of use that to. it and blend it a bit more thick paint on. Down a bit. I wonder if I should be using a palette knife. Let's try that. Oh, that's interesting. You get these nice. Broken effects. You put colour on your palette knife. Steve, it's time to press on. Right, so. Um, red i'm just gonna mix a kind of a brick color so i want some red on there i'm mixing with this with a palette knife maybe uh, let's have some sort of burnt 
some burn maybe some burns there see what we can get with those oops select that don't I I need the brush to make some Mix of colours we've got there. Okay, right, let's uh, start putting this great work. Maybe there. But that didn't. So what's nice is, look, you get in. Quite a lot of different colour. That's blended better now. I've took the what's it off? If I should be experimenting with different brushes as well. This initial. It is laggy, this is, I have to say. Compared to, um, say, Art Rage. But I'm working on a fairly big canvas. Maybe I should have changed the canvas size. Look at my sketch. Bit more brown. And it's nice that you've got these colours that you can just sort of dip into. But you don't have to keep sort of collecting them off the colour wheel. That's quite nice. And I colour. Let's just try a few different brushes just to remind me what they all do. It's interesting, it doesn't seem to. I didn't think it was picking up the dark colour then. Be wrong. Wrong. Yeah, I think. adding a white to it it's almost as if it's it thinks the canvas colors white go back to that for a bit
my favourite brush so far. Oops, kind of too much time. Green, let's put some green in here. Blend the green there. Blue. So how easy it was then to get that colour there, that was, I like, I like that. Do. I like that a lot. I want a lighter um definitely fun to mix your own colours. It kind of adds that extra dimension of um traditional painting I keep trying stopping myself saying real painting because you know this is real painting it is but now you've got the added benefit of so I want to mix a bit of that green with that um With a green brown. How would you pick that colour off the colour wheel? You know? It'd be nearly impossible. You gotta be careful though. Um you you need to mix I think areas that are big enough for your brush not to um pick up a colour you don't want if you if you get me drift. Now we need some um blues down here.
I'm going to lose that person. And, um, Oh. I'm really digging the uh, colour mixing and once you get a few colours on here, it really, um, really becomes very easy. Uh, initially I thought, am I going to be able to, um, stick with this and, and just keep mixing the colours on here or am I going to, um, struggle. It's obviously way too blue. What do you think? Do you like the idea of mixing your own colours? I'm loving it. Loving it. This brush. Got this big flat brushing again. Okay, you can't make your own brushes in this like you can in say art art rage. Well you can't on the iPad actually. Art rage on the iPad you can't. But um Yeah, there's um, restrictions with the brushes like you know in procreate you can make your own brushes and things but this brings something to to the table that I haven't seen in any other program on the iPad I have seen other uh, ways of mixing paint before um, obviously um, Corel painter does um, I think art rage does on the PC, 
but none of them, I don't think, do it quite, quite like this. Maybe the Corel Painter one does, I suppose. That brush a bit just to get a bit of different type of texture. Uh, so it's an all new experience. And if you just want to get it playing around with color mixing, and there's another palette, I believe, where you've got all these colors already mixed and you can just select the colors off there. But I just wanted to have a go of um, making my own really. I'm looking at my thumbnail and I've got this sort of building in here, quite dark. Look at that, a few brush strokes and you've got all that detail in there because you it's sort of um, picking up all of this colour. Let's have a creamy colour. Let's get some white. Mix it in with this um, yellow here. Oh, not the best brush to do it, is it, that one? I bet there's a better brush, you know, for mixing with if I... Um, I explored. Just it. Oh, that's a bit. Uh, hello. I'll let knife gone. to be enough kind of blend all of this together I haven't got enough paint on there let's try a different palette knife that just feels like a brush it doesn't feel like a palette knife at all Better. That one. I'm not so sure. That's better. But the more pressure you put on with this, the more effect you get of it. That's cool because I can put those lines back in. Oh, 
I want to kind of get this all put together. love this brush I love the way you can see textures underneath I like that I'll put these buildings in it's so fast Well, I have to say, uh, I'm going to um, say something now that I, I, I didn't think I would be, that um, this app is way ahead of um, Art Rage on the iPad. Not Art Rage, the, the PC version. Obviously, there's a, a lot more to that. But um, as, as apps go, because they haven't done anything on the Art Rage app for such a long time that all the competition is just running ahead. And um, just leaving them behind, to be honest, because this is far superior than the Art Rage app. So if you are thinking, of um, buying one or the other at the minute I've got to recommend this which is a shame because you know I'm a um, uh, I've done a lot of work on Art Rage I've got um, a featured artist review on Art Rage website of my paintings I'm a big supporter of Art Rage, but at the minute, I gotta say that um, this just feels so much nicer. Um, and I'm getting much more real. I know if I was to print out uh, a painting in Art Rage, because you're restricted to the size of brushes you can use and canvases and things in that. I won't get anything looking off as decent as this on the um, on the iPad. Like I say, it, uh, it's not not the same brush. I tried this one yet. That do. This must be a very thin, uh, small brush, thinking. And maybe for a bit more detailed work, perhaps, I don't know. And I'm simplifying these buildings back. You get this nice thick paint. It's almost as if you're using a very worn out brush. Might be useful for this. Um, Foliage. I want a kind of a grey green, don't I, for that?
I've noticed that the, this brush gets dirty and it lifts the colour up and, it, and you start using that which is really nice because I've got those nice distant tree effects in there that's cool so I suppose I ought to think about um, maybe looking at people a bit can't leave them like that or I'll do that though some white canvas in here haven't I block that in a bit I don't like lines that just you know, where you get a, a, an edge at the bottom of this this wall, for example, and and you see it. Well, I, I like to break lines up so they merge together, like we've got going off here. I think that's much nicer. Anyway, this uh, I'm still fiddling. This. Uh, Kind of paint, but uh, I know windbreak, whatever it is. Need to think about this guy now. Let's let's make him half decent, shall we? Maybe just um Wind cheater jacket on. You know, when I, to be honest with you, when I first used this out on the PC. I was really thinking it's very gimmicky. I, I I don't know if I like it. And uh I'm just becoming more impressed. Maybe I should have bought the version PC as well because it's a lot easier to record on the PC. I like all this sort of blackness going off. You just lose shapes. Don't think you need to have every little detail in there.
Look at that, lovely. Make out a few cups of things. Oh yeah. Lady in. I'm not going mad with detail, it's not that kind of painting. Gives you kind of suggestion. That arm in there. Quite like that, just sweeping in. Is that a bit low down? Look, just a, a, a brush indicates an arm. That's all I want. Basically, all I'm doing now, I want to spin it. I think somebody told me that the, there is a way of, of doing this, but um can't remember what it was. Need a chair, don't we, for this guy to be sat on. Needs to be... No. It's me double tapping it, look, trying to undo. That would have been a nice feature, I guess. Yeah, enough for his chair, I think. Totally, um, this is a different place. Let's put this other guy in. Blow up the white up off there. Yeah. Almost in silhouette, isn't he?
too shabby, but we do need a shadow under it. Oops. The redo. Don't want to redo, let's just back in. I meant to touch that. Shadow under there as well. Got to kind of exaggerate the shadows. I like the way that the colours, that brush, you can sort of merge them together and it, it just looks like you haven't cut them out and stuck them on. And then I've got loads of other people in the scene as well. Just sort of bit, make it look a bit like um, room. Yeah, close to the end of this. Uh, what else do I want to do? I want to put a few more people in. There was uh, an initial sketch put in just a few distant uh, people in there. Let's get them in as well. All different bits of colour. I discuss in the original sketch a little bit about perspective and putting different people in. I've got a plate with a massive head there. That's obviously clearly a child. I don't want to make him a bit big. Yeah. In fact, those two could be together, couldn't they? Mm. Oh, looking a bit static. Oh, 
I'm going to do them again. Better. Looks like they're moving now. Should do the same with this one as well. I'm just trying to get a little bit of movement in in the body there. So it just looks like they're walking and not just standing still. That's better. There. Uh, could put a few more little lines in. Just to add the odd bit of detail, the odd window, maybe. There, like that. A few uh... yeah. you bricks in, or I guess the cobbles aren't they? They're not bricks. Yeah, get it signed, Steve. So oh, there we have it using the mixer palette in realistic paint studio um, to produce an oil painting of a little cottage shop. Uh, all done on one layer uh, using just a few brushes and palette knives and things but it was all about the color mixing I, I really enjoyed doing that that was a lot of fun you can see look at the brush strokes and ev everything where you get this color blending and mixing effortless give it a go if you haven't tried the palette uh, and you've got realistic paint studio give it a go i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing i've got lots of videos like this and i would love to be sharing them all with you so hopefully i'll see you in the next one bye oh and don't forget everybody stay safe stay sane and keep painting <laughs>